so it should work. There we go. Um, it started with this intro, which I, I think it's kind of funny because I uh, haven't done any. Um, uh, I haven't played this game, so I don't know why I would actually sk skip the uh, um, the intro. So we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, ooh, nice. Grave of Siciliana. Ixana. Uh, ooh, Neil Forrester. At least you have some amount of brains in their head of yours. Dimitri Koldov, 19. Eight college. Okay, yes, yes, I will. To cook and clean for you. Okay. Cool. Gray Jansen, 27. Oh, you're challenging me? This is okay. So their intro is a lot short. Like, I can't. Lone Wolf, Super Hero. Okay. James, just James. No, no, no last name. Kane Prince, Prince, twenty-one years old. Uh, and uh, Aiden Jagger, Jagar maybe. And then these are the handsome boys. Read, 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 read. Don't know who to pick. Click here to take a quiz. I'll take a quiz because I don't know who to pick. Um, which setting do you prefer? Fantasy or modern? I'm gonna go fantasy. Uh, left click confirm, right click cancel. Okay. Would you prefer a comedic route or a serious one? I'm gonna do comedic, cause I like, I kinda com I like com comedy. How do you prefer your romance? Fast pace or slow, slow burn? Let's do fast pace, cause I'm kinda curious how fast that is. How much sexual steamy content would you prefer? <laughs> Wait, how steamy? Because I, because <laughs> now I'm kind of curious. Is this even safe to stream? Hold on, everyone. I need to check on something because I don't think there's like super steamy things. But I just want to make sure this is appropriate for the viewers that are gonna be jumping in randomly. Um, because <laughs> I understand. With this, there's many routes, which also means there's many off cho choices to uh, to the endings of who you choose, and also because like since this game is considerably longer to complete because you got multiple characters to be to be uh, dealing with. Um. Okay. So far, my best knowledge, it is not as steamy as maybe uh, anyone anyone would think. I mean, slight steamy, but not like super inappropriate. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say all of it, just just because. Why not? Um, do you prefer the love interest to be submissive or dominant? Uh, I'd be dominant. Uh, do you prefer the old the love interest to be older or younger? I would say older, just because mentally I'm older. I don't really understand it's fantasy world. I could go with younger, but I'm a little uncomfortable every time when it's like, you want to date younger? I'm like, no, I'd rather date a little on my age or older. Nice from the start, or indifferent it takes a while to warm up. I'm going to think nice. Um, how do you prefer your main characters to act? Mature, uh, personally. Um, do you... Think force focus on developing side characters is important. Um, focus. Do you think focus on developing side characters is important? Yeah, if you're gonna add the if you're gonna add character side characters and they have development plots, then yes, that'd be important. But if not, like then it's kind of wasting my time for dealing with them. If that makes any sense. Uh. Are you okay with love interest belittling or insulting the main character? I'm fine with that. <laughs> Cause I'm guessing I'm the main character, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's not like, yeah, I chose. Do you prefer a love interest that blushes a lot? Um, sure, because it, it'll help. Uh, do you prefer a confident or insecure love interest? I like confidence. Just. 
just a bit, because it makes it just makes it awkward for me. Ah, that guy. You, you got great grades based on your answers. Uh, Gray used to be your rival gang leader back in high school. His route deals with deception and gangs. Oh, jeez. I guess I like bad boys then. <laughs> that, that's nice. Uh, because Gray is still in development, the next route recommendation would be James. Oh, so still upgrading. I guess. It's, uh, oh, or I buy DLCs. Uh, well, we'll go with James. Where is... I don't know who's James. Neil Forrester, when you were young and much more of a tomboy, you and Neil happened to cross paths when he decided to run away from his parents who forced him to act like a proper child. Years later, you two meet as adults, except Neil doesn't recognize you. No, he has under... was the under the pressure you were a boy. Oh, wow. Mr. Neil is Neil embarrassed. Neil is towards you. is cold and cruel. You went, mm. Oh, it tells you even the length. That's that's nice. Four hours. 4.5 hours. Based on the length it'll take. Um, Seven hours. Jesus. Okay. During your last party in college, you made a drunk. No thanks. I'm good. Um, I think this is James, if I'm correct. 12 hours. 12 hours. What? Hey, 28! Hey, 28! Hey, he's older! Okay, okay. He, okay. Let me read the others. Um, characters. Or at least the brief it. Brief. Well, let's see. And this is six hours. Oh, God. Like, the shortest so far is him, which is Neil. Um, Dimitri could have. You know, I'm going to go with the initial what the quiz told me. It's like, hey, this guy's not available, but you got James. I'm like, all right, I'll go with James. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Superhero job. That's his job? Okay. Yeah, read. Right. I'll, I'll do this one. Create your character. Okay. Why in, Why so small? Oh, Taylor, you play a young woman who has just opened her own boutique. You can determine her skin, hair, and eye color by using her skin. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, these choices will reflect in special CGs that will uh, appear throughout the story, so choose wisely. Don't forget to equip your free starter shirt, shirt and skinnels. Alright. Um, that's interesting that whatever I choose by tire, it, 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 it uh, changes how my, I guess, my route goes. Interesting. So then, alright. Well, I'm just gonna go with what I will think is comfortable. Alright, so hair... I'm gonna do. Oh wait. Uh, continue. All right. So hair. Uh, not. I'm not really. I'm like in between these two skin colors in real life. So this is kind of. Uh, I guess that. Um, eyes. Uh, brown eyes, and then. I guess they don't have eyes of shape. Hair black. Uh, top sure. Dress, no dress, no skirt, skirt, pants, no pants, okay. Shoes, um, I guess that's the only option I have, so, I like blue. Um, no hat, no glasses, no purse, no whole set. I guess that's how I'll start, is, is literally that. Yeah, sure, save my current avatar. Enter your name, uh, alright. Maddie. Uh, oh, enter your last name. Crafty. That works out for this this game. But, oh man, James is like long as enter your uh, boutique name. Iris. Uh, hold on. Oh, um. Boutique. Fashion, no. Um, Iris wear. Iris wear. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Is Iris wear correct? Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Crafty Maddie, boutique as Iris wear. This is correct. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was the guys who were the tailors. Well, at least, yeah. 
A slight bug with James' ending credits has been fixed. You can prove play this epilogue to view his ending credits correctly. Uh, okay. Welcome to the main menu to start off your journey. Why don't you read the first chapter by clicking the continue button on your right? Okay. Hmm? Alright, warning triggers. Taylor Tales is a lighthearted game, but each group brings its own unique set of warnings and triggers. Would you like to review these? Yeah. Uh, okay. This is best. Useful. Special behaviors done most of the time, never occasionally, sometimes net phase being very high amount. Hmm. Okay. Well, then I guess I will put in the trigger warning on this as well for my page. Uh, just in case. Because, who knows, maybe some of y'all don't like that kind of um, thing. So, it's a little small in size. It should be fine. Let's do it a little slightly bigger this time. Alright, um... Okay. Check the gray area, two area. One time to review the warnings that contain spoilers. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Um... Would you like to review the controls? Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, uh, as you'll play the story, you'll sometimes be prom prompted with a fierce, kind choice. They will determine which ending you'll get. Okay. Uh, fierce choices are usually more bold and flirty. Kind choices are usually more reserved and thoughtful. Never, neither choice is the right one, so pick whichever one you feel like. During the game, this message will, window will contain most of the shortcuts you can use. Sir Otto, okay. The history log, quick save, okay. Space where we'll skip. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, enter your brother's name. Oh, I have a brother. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna do. Brother. I don't know. Is he a freaking annoying brother? Is he a nice brother? Um. I'm gonna put. Um, Sam, you will. If I can spell Samuel, right. Sam, you will. S you know, I'm just going to do Sam. It's just easier and short. Your name is too similar to an existing character's name. Do you want to change the... Oh, really? Okay. Um, Jackie. Who's gonna do that? Yeah. As far as the eyes can see, the there's gorgeous fabric to be found everywhere, from the most luxurious silk to the cheapest organza. It's all here at the market. I dress my scarf as a particular cold wind blows. It's in the middle of wa winter. This place is where I truly come to peace. I'm in my element. Colors, textures, patterns. I'm already formulating my next designs in my head. In particular, uh. Uh, in trin in iridescent piece of fabric catches my eye. It changes colors when you look at it from a different angle. It reminds me a little of the way the eighties movies created space outfits, everything, and to be shiny back then. Excuse me, I call out to the woman behind the stall who was in the middle. The blah. Mm. Yes, dear. Would you like this one? Yes, four meters will do. Four meters. What is four meters? Um, the woman takes the iridescent fabric, roll off my hands, and starts measuring how much she needs to cut. You know, this fabric reminds me of the Starlight's costume, uh, says the woman. Starlight, a superhero whose outfit I didn't design, someone else got to her first. She was the power to the brain, uh, any kind of light source, and quite literally blind you. S is that so? I say casually. <sighs> Isn't... It isn't... Isn't it just weird how they're walking among us like normal people? It could be any of one of us, she mutters in a dark tone. I don't like where this conversation is going. Huh. Why do they hide? I don't like that. Anyone can just, you know, hide a really dangerous power. She cuts the fabric to my specifications. Okay. I pull the uh, scarf over my nose to hide my disgust. 
they wouldn't have to hide their identity if people didn't try to run, ruin their own normal lives. I'm sure they have a very good reason to hide. Um, I would be kind because you're a someone who's selling this. Also, because like I probably want a better relationship with you. I'm sure they have a very good reason to hide. I explain. Uh. Being too sympathetic can be uh, a bad thing sometimes, says the woman. I mean, sure, it can be a bad thing, but also, like, you can't fit their shoes. What do you mean? The woman flashes a fake smile at me at the s as she bags the oh. bag. Back. That'll be forty four ninety five, sweetheart. Uh, okay. I don't know what currency that's supposed to be. But I know it's not U.S. dollars. I know it's not Chinese um, RMB. Uh, it's not Hong Kong yen, and it's not Japanese yen, and it's I don't think it's Euro uh, currency. Uh, I can't currency symbols because like oh, it is a Euro. It's been a while since I've seen you. Okay, so Euro. Um, cool, cool, cool. European. I'm money. Pay the woman her money and quickly disappear from the stall. Suddenly I don't feel so in my element after all. Time to leave before the blizzard starts. Phew, finally got back to Iris Ware before the blizzard started. Mm -hmm. I guess it's winter. Hey, Maddie. Kim greets me with from behind the car counter. Hey, Kim. Did anyone stop by today? Yeah. Yep, look who's back. Kim plops down a piece of fabric onto the counter. I immediately recognize the outfit and sigh loudly again. I complain. That's like the third time this week. <laughs> yeah. He told me he tore it while scaling a mountain. He explains with a roll of uh, at eyes. Grabbing the outfit from the counter, I expect it for uh, any tears. I didn't have to look long. The culprit is staring right in my face. The midriff has been torn up. What in the world? These look like... Claw marks. Did he fight a damn mountain lion up there? Do supers not have anything better to do? I say oh. exasperately. Kim shrugs. He swears he was trailing someone who stole an old lady's purse. On a mountain? I repeat incredulously. The lasher sure knows how to concoct extravagant stories for his adventures. Last time he said he tore it while swimming on the back of the shark. <laughs> it's why the fans love him after all, Kim points out. Oh. Anyways, can you fix it? I let the fabric slide through my fingers, focusing on the hole that I can fix manually without having to recut any new patterns. <laughs> Ugh! The wiggle, I wiggle my finger until a fine piece of thread emerges from the tip. It's so thin, normal people usually have a hard time seeing it. I ma ma manipulate until it pierces fabric. Am mm. I a witch? No matter how many times I see you do it, it's always so interesting to see it in action, says Kim and all. I cut off the thread so that it's no longer attached to me and neatly tie it up. But now for the rest. So I guess I have thread attached. Oh, loud explosion rumbles from underneath me. What in the world? I yell, completely startled. Okay. The rubbing brings down a few items on my com computer. Is this an earthquake? Kim ducks and covers her head as a shelf behind her falls down. Oh man, a shelf behind. Okay, well that's fun. That's that's real fun. Uh, all right, let me just make this. Kim, are you okay? Um, I'm fine. I think I it came from below. I finish uh, her with. And we both come to a realization. Jackie, Kim ground, groans. Go back to work, Kim. I'll check up on Jackie, I say. Mm. Alright, let me know if I need to call an ambulance or not. I give her a we wearing smile. Kim ex exits the room and I sigh out loud. What is Jackie doing now? I knew it was suspiciously quiet. I should have checked up on him sooner. I enter the hallway and walk all the way to the back, opening a small door underneath the staircase. It's the entrance to my brother's lab. Oh, he has a lab? Whoa! It's like freaking Dexter's laboratory. Jesus. There's soot all over the floor. I'm leaving footprints behind as I walk behind the lab. Inside the lab, lots of objects are on the floor. I'm panicking a little until 
I see two people sitting on the metal desk. Jackie, I cry out. What happened? Uh, whoa, what did, what, what? That was a weird transition. <laughs> it was like, did they become invisible or were invisible? <laughs> okay. Uh, Jackie just looks at me with a shrug. His hair is standing up in different directions. <laughs> I'm just a little shocked, he says jokingly. The person next to him knocks him over the head. Oh. Idiot. Now is not the time for your stupid puns, Kane berates my brother. Kane, I question, what are you doing <laughs> here? Your brother asked me to come. I know I shouldn't have. You guys are crazy, Kane huffs. Wait, why am I getting lumped into this, I ask. What did you do this time, Jackie? Uh. Not oh, whoops. My bad. I didn't load which, nope. Um, log, okay. Uh, when, what are you doing? Your brother asked me to come. I knew that. Okay, nothing. Why are y'all eyes on me? Jackie pulls his hands up and tries uh, to look innocent. Uh, Jackie sighs when he realizes I'm not buying into his act, then picks up a metal ring from the floor. Okay, I was trying to, um, I was trying to uh, get this bracelet to harness Kane's electricity. I figured I could harvest it and perhaps create an infinity generating power source. Jackie gets hit over the head again by Kane. Moron, I told you that it's not how it works. I can't keep generating electricity without pulling it from my own energy. Eventually, I get tired too. Then I collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the world of, I guess, people have superpowers, which is quite interesting. Uh, and then it it blew up in my in your face you know that sh that shit is dangerous i can't ha i can't i could have lost my license you know <laughs> <laughs> i was grounded i'm fine i groan out loud no kane's right don't toy around like that i don't want to bury my younger brother as well all right a serious look down dawns on jackie's face as the words sink in uh but then he quickly replaces it with a pout Mm. Who else will come up with these sn sniffling, nifty little gadgets then, huh? <laughs> Kane smirks. I have to admit, your tracking device came in really handy last <laughs> time. N right, right. Jackie points out finger guns, uh, finger guns at Kane. I roll my eyes at the two of them. They're always up to no good. Now someone uh, has to clean up the mess that they made. Their soot. Everywhere the stench isn't all the great either. I point out. I point at the floor. Jackie, you made this mess, so clean it up. Ugh. Jackie groans and slashes his shoulders, but nothing less. Yeah, I mean, you didn't make a mess, dude. <laughs> it's not like, eh. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, da 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 da. All right, he holds his. Ex his index finger and thumbs together until a uh, spark of electricity ignites between them. Mm. By the way, speaking of licenses, when are you getting yours? He asks nonchalantly. You've been asking me for years, I say with a heavy sigh. Ah. And I'm asking you again. Uh, not everyone wants to be a superhero cane, I reply. Hmm. Jackie returns with a broom and starts sweeping the floor. Don't bother Maddie. It's it, he, it, yeah. Don't bother. Maddie's pretty stubborn. Am I? Am I really that stubborn? <laughs> uh, must be in order to be so stubborn. Hmm. Yeah, but come on. Unlike your moronic <laughs> brother, I resent that, Jackie hmm. interjects. You actually have an ability that could be useful in combat. That doesn't mean it should be used in combat. I fire back. There are plenty of ways someone could use their abilities for the greater good without having to pick fights with bad guys. Yeah, like, I think there's a moral thing to do. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Jackie shuffles away from the broom, with the broom. Yeah. But you're, but, um... But you're just some lame-ass tailor, King groans. That's not exciting in the least. Like, pfft, at least I'm doing something with a job. Jeez. King is really getting on my nerves now. And he's, and he's insulting my work and calling it boring. There's nothing wrong with being a fashion designer. 
Yeah, like, it's a job. Like, people still need clothing and, you know, get it fixed on certain things, like ripped jeans. I don't see you complaining when I'm the one who's your superhero cost, uh, who makes your superhero costume. Yeah. That's different. He, he says flippantly, you're still just using it on clothes. His eyes whiten as he realizes something. Oh, I've got it. The perfect superhero name for you. King grins and then spreads out his arms. <laughs> Black Widow, he says with a chuck. Wow. Do I look like a spider to you? Mm. Hey, don't mock the name. Don't you know this superhero spider ma boy? He shoots webs uh, from his butt. Same difference. <laughs> this is a huge... Um, that is the one of a huge difference, I protest. I don't shoot weird web stuff from my butt. He is highly sophisticated. It's nothing like a oh. web. Um, isn't it just the same thing? Kane cocks his head to the side. No, webs are sticky. My thread is not. I've seen you attach that stuff uh, to anything. What do you mean it's not sticky? Have I been living a lie all this time? Kane questions. <laughs> uh... Explain the difference to- uh, I'm- I'm gonna be in the way. Dude, appears the skin undetected, it's fast and zips, zigzags and hope. <laughs> he tries to speak, but finally realizes he can't open his mouth. He look at me in horror. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That cane is a difference. My thread doesn't stick. It pierces. I explain smuggling. He closes his mouth and trying to hit. <sighs> Jack signs behind us. Maddie, don't torture my test subject. He's your test subject, so I might as well torture your test subject since he's being a rude-ass person. And being a test subject, I mean, yeah, sure, you're not really, you're not really, you don't have to torture them, but in a way, like, they agree to almost anything kind of, um, stuff that does happen to them, so, I don't know, I think I have the right to do so. What did you do that for? That's traumatizing. And it's not comforting to be pre to referred to as a s test subject. <laughs> did I ever refer you to anything else? I was pretty upfront about it. Sigh. Uh, look, I'm happy with my job. I like making clothes. I don't need to f uh, fight crime or save the earth with my powers. Not everyone needs to be a superhero like you do. I don't particularly enjoy hiding my identity as well. I just wanted to see you swing around the city like Spider Boy. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Dude, no, you're not going to see Maddie zip around like that. Besides, I wouldn't allow it. Oh, you wouldn't allow me to be a superhero? Since when do you have that right? Mm. Since I'm your brother and I have a look at you, a look out for you. Uh. We're the only ones left. How about you worry about yourself? You almost got electrocuted by Kane when I walked in. Oh. Uh, that's different. Sometimes experiments go wrong. I just wanted to point out that I'm immune to electricity. It can't shock me. So yeah, um, it may very well kill only you, says Kane. Yeah. Alright, enough talking. Give me some of your juice. I need to power up this bracelet. Uh -huh. Still? You already sh sucked me dry uh -huh. enough. Uh, dude, do you ever think about the words that are going out of your mouth? <laughs> I don't think he ever does, <laughs> Kane. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh -huh. Sh shut up. Go back upstairs already. Uh huh. You're so sweet. Um, guys, do we even own flying ships? Yeah. The Forester Corporation owns several of them. What? Yes. Why? Uh. They should have the Forester logo on them. Then no. K uh, Kim. Mm. Uh, this is correct. Jackie replies. Mm, oh. Then this giant ship flying over Clan right now is definitely not uh, one of ours. Okay. Uh, mm. Do you have any cameras outside? Mm. None that point towards the sky. Jeffrey rumbles, ha hastily walking towards it. Is it? Hey, Riri, you've been lurking, uh, playing. No, no, man's no worries. Totally fine with the lurks. Um, this. <laughs> 
playing with Taylor Tales, and it's at least it tells you depending which character you choose to go for the stories, it tells you how long it takes. So apparently, I um, my I took the quiz and it gave me two characters, one who which I guess is a DLC or is still improving for upgrade on the game, and the other is literally James and and he's like the longest route ever. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can even do halfway through, and if I can't, um, I'll probably play it the rest of tomorrow, because I got the rest of the day available. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I, I chose the most longest route ever. Are we under attack? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can't get down here now. Ooh, alarms and sirens going on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, they're definitely not friendly, King cries out. Oh. Stay here. This lab is just like a bunker. Don't do anything stupid. Let me handle it. Then he turns to Jackie. Notify the rest of the squad. Then push uh, comes to shove. No matter how immature King can be, in emergencies, he's always someone you can count on. He inverts inside the room, nearly coughing up a lung. Kim, are you alright? Yeah, there's just a lot of dust in the air right now. What? What did you see? I ask her. The ship, it shot down a building. It's, it's still hovering uh, directly above us. I'm so scared. Kim crouches down onto the floor, clamping her head, her hands and over to the side of her ears. Mm, you're safe here, Kim. Let the superheroes do their work. Jackie, who else, who else other than me has the technology to create those? I ask him. Uh. I, other than Forrester Incorporated and Reister, I don't think anyone else does. Jackie looks slumped. Uh, he's trying his best to recognize the vehicle. Hmm. Uh, but that's not one of ours. And Rest, Reister has only created small ships. They wouldn't be able to create a ship that of that size. Jackie brings his hand in his mouth. <laughs> in fact, I've never seen such designs before. Someone must have been building this in secret. Do you think it's Julio? I ask. Uh, are they planning on attacking superheroes again? Um. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, they're there. I don't see Kane, I murmur softly. Uh, Kane, don't be reckless. If that thing falls down, you're going to create even more casualties. But look, the ship seems unharmed, hmm. I point out. Hmm, shield technology. This is very sophisticated. Uh-huh. Uh, what, what are those, Kim Shrieks? Uh, uh, drones, Jack says, though he's unsure. No, I think they're p they're people. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, it seems the smaller ships don't have any shields on them. But wait, did I see that correctly? Did you see that too? I asked. Yeah, their skin is red. Skin. Uh, Kim finishes. All of them are. You, s um. you see. A shareability, a family perhaps, this is unusual. Sometimes people are born with deformities because of their abilities, and they're certainly not unique to each other, but so many of them uh, together, Jackie questions. This is getting even more confusing. I, uh, yep. News uh, reporter says that everyone is fighting back against the smaller hovercrafts, but their numbers are too great for everyone to handle. 
Damn it, Kane already used up a lot of his powers just now. J uh, Jackie Green. That's my fault. Oh no, it's Kane going to be alright? What if people need medical attention? Huh. Maddie, you're not thinking of thinking, right? Stay here. The lab is safe. What if it, uh, oh, wait. Uh, what if it was Kane bleeding out on the streets? Would you still say the same thing? Oh, wow, I could do small thoughts. Oh, that's nice, I could do that instead. I know first aid, I can be of use, uh, some use. It's snowing. Woo, snow, I really wish it was snowing here. I want snow. I miss snow so badly. Uh, <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. The noise. I sh shoot a thread out to the lamppost, then I to another lamppost quickly and start to weave a net in between. He's coming closer. Crap, I am not done yet. This net will barely hold. I focus on the uh, do -do -do. stretches out, first and out, wiggles back and forth in net netting until he finally comes to a stop. I caught him. Cool. Ah, oh, that's cool. I can make some kind of, like a webbing like that. There's just a lot of narrative in this. I'm not really reading so much of this because it's just. It's a lot. <laughs> Jackie, help me out. I, uh, da, da, da. Huh? What the hell's this? Does it matter? He's hurt. Help me put him on the table. Huh? What if it's the enemy? Well, he's not red, is he? Hel come help me. Hmm. Now what? Um. I'll, uh, I'll go, I'll get the first aid kit. Uh, whoa, that's a lot of burns. And that's an interesting suit, too. Hey, can you hear me? He probably can't hear me. He's probably, like, in super much pain. And I use my power. You know, it'd be cool if I was an actual doctor, because maybe I would have hmm. been kind of cool. Maddie, look, we're winning. They're falling back. That's good. How uh. have you seen Kane? I'm unsure. They haven't said anything about the death toll yet. Ugh. By the way, do you recognize this guy? I seriously don't know. Aren't you the one that's supposed to recognize them all, considering you're the one designing most of these costumes? I don't provide for every single hero superhero, you know. Uh. Can't you look him up in the database if he's a superhero? He has to be registered. I, huh, superhero's gotta be registered? That's interesting. I can. I lean closer to him, studying him. The burns are scattered across the torso like a lightning bolt. Wonder who this man is. Wait. Now this is the first time I've seen anyone. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait. They're saying something on TV. What? They're saying it's not Julio? Uh, and it's, 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 uh, grabs by the throat, squeezing it. Oh, gosh. Can't break, try to break free. Let, let go. I the man doesn't listen. Keep me up in the air, tightening his grip on my throat. Ah! Let go my sister... Take that. Stop. We're not trying to hurt you. I help patch your wounds. I explain. Let's 
So, uh, see, I did the stitches. Don't, uh, you have to keep the wound dressed. Please calm down. Let me help you. Uh-huh. We're not here to hurt you, so please let me put the bandages back on. But that's, that's him. Man wearing black wear. It's an alien, Jack. <coughs> you saved me. You get away from her. Uh, you did that. Uh, try talking to him. Yeah, um, please don't hurt us. Hey. What? Okay, Jesus. He's a villain, okay. I never thought there was going to be some more exciting things like this. Like, this is kind of cool. Uh, okay. Decorate. I uh, can't really choose anything else, so return. Design. Jewish design or freestyle. Uh, let's do the clients. Um... So I kind of want to see what this is like. Randomly generate uh, when each request earns you gold and tailor experiences. The more experience you have, the more you'll earn. Cool. Let's see if I can earn some money. Money, money. It's so funny. And a rich man's girl. Money, money, money. That's so funny. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything you could do if I had a little money. No, 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 no. And a rich ass girl. Complete four clients in a row and you get bonus tailoring experience. So try to always finish a client. Uh, once you accept your client, it's time to mimic their request as much as a possibility. Pick a color that you'll have to. Okay. So design and then color base and pattern bar. Okay. Ah, so I gotta match it pretty much. Uh, okay, spreading some love around. They need to get back in beige wash. Uh, yeah, I'll do the shorts. Uh, this length design. It looks like it's this color. Hit hemline. I don't think it really does anything. Design length hemline. Oh, okay, finished. You were just, yeah, cool. All right, I regret nothing. Uh, let's do another, let's do a different one. Design, so I need green, and then sleeve is black with this one. Okay, checklist, it all matches, finished. Sweet, um, gonna do this one. All right, so skirt neckline. I need it red. And then for sleeve is to be black. Uh, no wait, brown. Brown. And then a skirt. And then how do I, how do I do, oh, skirt, here we go. Uh, this color. Checklist. Oh, right, I'll check. Yay! This isn't as hard as you think, which isn't too bad. You just gotta make sure you got the, um, er, the, the, the weight, the color design right. And that wants to be purple. Is it to be purple? Oh, there we go. Purple. Checklist. I guess I didn't. This one makes sense. And I will do this one. 
I could do this all day. Like, I could just keep earning money and, and not actually go on dates. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe I'll just do that one day and not, like, uh, not, like, uh, go on dates. But I probably won't stream it because, like, this is just, it would be a lot. Um... I would just do this when I get like freaking bored. And that has to be blue. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Uh, cool. So I did that. Um, I got money. Um, check right. Don't have anything else to choose. Shop. Ooh, outfits. Ooh, I can shop for outfits. Man, this this is a lot more... Okay, hold on a second. Oh, I could do hair. Um, she's hair. Ooh, I could do that one. I could do that one. Okay. Well, I do want more of a clothing. Whoa! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh, James works for carpentry? Oh. Wait, oh yeah, he's the alien dude. Um, Choirs, furnishing. Blue. I do like blue. Mm. Alright, I guess I would need more money to do more of a design on my shop. So I think I'll do, I think I'll do everything pretty much later, like attire everything, because it's just, it's a lot. Um, and it's going to take forever for me to even, like, get to where I want to be. Like, Tyra wise to look good. So right now I'm fine with this because uh, it's simple and easy. Um, yeah. Um, return. Yeah, just return because it's it's not change. Uh, uh I, give me a moment. I kind of want to see something else just to understand this. Alright, so based on um, the tip for making a design is it's better to just get as much money you can, which I think maxes they do 10,000. So then once you reach there, then you're pretty much done with your designing, which means you just have to like, I would have to just like grind for money. Because I guess if I want it, the more if I bought, I guess the more... Um, I spend it or something, the the more I guess difficult the designs become. So, interestingly enough, that's that's kind of an interesting outcome. All right, yeah, continue. Actually, can I save? No, I can't save. Save. Oh, here, save. Yeah, I kind of want to sell. So then, let me go to the menu. Can I not go to menu? Um. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't have passwords, collections. Ah, Neil came. Oh, this tells, oh, James, nothing. Interesting, Zex, Zex, oh my god, his name's Zex. Eo, Aiden, Jimmy, okay. So, I guess this is just to tell me the guys I could do. I don't think I, I wish, I don't think I could actually do multiple days not in the same time, but, you know, like, have different saves. It'll cost me to continue the next chapter. What? Really? Ah, oh, that's lame. Okay, okay, well... You know, okay, if it's gonna have me do so much of that effort for a freaking 12-hour dating crap, I might as well just not continue on this and save this and just grind later like everything just grind for so long so it's gonna take for well, it's gonna take for a while um so you know i there is a game i could continue because i've yet to finish the route i was supposed to for this um dark night and and it has multiple paths and i might as well get that done since that's another game i've really yet to finish 
Uh, so why don't we do that? So <laughs> we'll take a, in a way it'll be a short break, but it's really me just trying to transition things over because it's just yeah. I didn't realize this game was going to be like oh yeah, like you're gonna have to grind so much, and I'm like I don't want to do that on stream. Like I don't want y'all to be seeing me doing that on stream. It's just it's a lot and it's kind of irritating because you don't need me to do that or see me do that. So there's that. Oh, uh, man. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'll I'll go ahead and grind that game later when I get bored or whatnot for some reasons. But I'm going to exit this game out because why would I? <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't like to live stream and grind because it's a lot of hours to take in. And, like, as much as I like to talk to people and talk to myself, it's just I can do that in other streams and I'm okay with it. Because I don't have to worry of doing that. 